time I drop some heat, I know they get mad. Nobody finna slow me down, who I do with that? Have a new story when they ask it, how my day go? Well, the fuck boys piss, they stay in sun like 30 Dracos. If you ain't tryna ride along it, but I still a wiggle. I ain't trippin' bout nothing, I go get my pesos. Have a new story when they ask it, how my day go? Well, the fuck boys piss, they stay in sun like 30 Dracos. If you ain't What up, y'all? It's your girl, Chef Shay. We're back with the first episode. In light of the fact that it's football season, we're gonna get into making some things that people love to eat while watching football. One of my favorite foods, chicken wings. Now, what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of background with some knife skills on how to chop up a whole carrot and make it into little carrot sticks. Same with the celery, okay? You know everybody wants some carrots and celery with their wings, okay? We're also gonna show you guys how to break down and clean some of this chicken, okay? We're gonna break down how to make four different sauces. We're gonna do lemon pepper, we're gonna do buffalo, we're gonna do garlic parm, we're gonna do country sweet. We're gonna fry them, we're gonna show you how to do it all, okay? You ready? Let's go. Okay, so we're getting right into it. Now the first thing you wanna do, whenever you use a knife, first of all, you wanna make sure the knife is sharp, okay? The way I make sure a knife is sharp is I run my finger across the blade. Diagonally, okay? Don't never run your finger this way, but unless you wanna cut yourself. I don't wanna cut myself. Okay, this lets me know if the knife is sharp or if it's not sharp. This knife could use a little bit of love. You always wanna deal with a sharp knife because a dull knife, you have to apply pressure and you can risk cutting yourself. So a sharp knife gives you clean cuts. Right here, I just got a little personal sharpener, nothing special, okay? Even strokes from the tail of the knife until the tip. I'm gonna check it one more time to see if I, if I get that little pushback. All right, cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tool, which is called the steel. We're gonna angle the blade, slide it down. Angle the blade again, slide it down. Continue to do this motion until we true the blade. This is not sharpening the blade. It's making the blade thinner. You wanna call that sharpening? Go ahead. We wanna take care of our tools, okay? We're gonna do the same thing with this knife. This is a chef's knife. This is a smaller version of a chef's knife. Once again, from the tail to the tip. From the tail to the tip, okay? You're gonna hit it with the steel a few times. Make sure we got a sharp knife to work with, okay? The first thing we're gonna work on is cutting up our garnishes, our sides for these wings. So you always wanna make sure that you're rinsing what you're using. You wanna use clean vegetables. Okay, I got this from the public market today. I love the public market, it's cheap. I think I spent maybe $2 on two heads of celery. I would definitely recommend getting fruits and vegetables from the public market if you can make the time. So we're gonna cut the tail end off of this. Straight blade. We're gonna turn it around. We're gonna open up the celery, okay? Because every piece is not the same length. We wanna take these pieces out that have mostly bushes on the end, if you wanna call them that, okay? We're gonna put a few of these pieces to the side and we're gonna remove the tail end of the celery. So I'm gonna cut this piece of celery in half, okay? We're gonna make ourselves some celery sticks. A tip to keeping celery fresh and keeping it crunchy is keeping it in ice cold water or cold water. That way it doesn't dry out, doesn't look all weird. All right, now we got some celery working. The rest of this we're gonna get rid of, put it in the trash. Also, of course, before you start doing anything with any kind of food, wash your hands. Y'all didn't see me wash my hands, but trust me, I wash my hands. I'm also gonna utilize gloves when we start dealing with raw meat and we're switching from raw meat to fresh meat. Well, this ain't meat, but vegetables, chicken. Now we're gonna do some carrot sticks. Now, as you can see, this is round, okay? It's going to roll. I do not want this to roll as I'm trying to cut it. So first we're gonna clean the end off. I'm not gonna take the skin off because it's not gonna hurt anybody, okay? We're gonna make this smaller and easy for us to deal with. Now the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a very small piece off of the back, okay? This is gonna allow the carrot to sit flat on my cutting board and not rock as much as this piece right here is gonna rock because there's no side cut off. I made this part flat so it'll stay still when I try and cut it. Cut quarters of this, or thirds, or however you wanna do your math, I don't, I don't care. Okay, and we're just gonna cut these into little strips. They ain't gotta be perfect. Somebody's complaining about the way you cut the carrot, you know, maybe you shouldn't cook for them. <laughs> like, now something that I'm doing wrong, and, I, and those of you that cook know that I'm doing this wrong, is anytime that you're using a knife, okay, you wanna tuck your fingers, okay? If my fingers are tucked like this, the knife cannot cut 
the tip of my fingers. You never want to hold something like this because if it rocks or it moves, you're going to cut yourself. The knife is resting up against the knuckle and it's going up and down. Okay, but I'm going to use the tip of my fingers to dictate how much I'm going to cut and I'm going to move it back gently. Okay? We're not using this. I'm just showing you a quick technique. Okay? Make sure you got your fingers like this monkey paw. Call it the monkey paw. Monkey paw to carry. We're going to make sure we run these under some cool water. Because we want them to stay fresh. We want them to be crisp. Moving right along to the chicken wings. Now, the reason why I bought whole chicken wings is because I know some of you look at this and probably get scared and don't know what to do. Now, a lot of people do this right here and they're going to tuck this little piece right here behind the head of the drum and you can fry it like this. But because I want to feed a lot of people, I'm going to cut this in half and we're going to take the little tail piece off, okay? We're going to cut into the skin and we want to expose that bone, where that bone is at. So that's where we want to cut to separate the drumstick from the flat. Now I got a wing, now I got a flat and a drum it, okay? We're going to do this with the rest of this and then we're going to start frying them up. All right, they're all chopped up and ready to be fried. Okay, so now that we got the all wings all clean, separated and in individual, we're gonna put them in this hot pan of oil. Well, it's a pot. I don't tempt the oil like with a thermometer. You know the trick we do. Wet your finger. The pot is ready. I wanna make sure I have enough oil in this pan so that I can deep fry the wings, so that there's oil surrounding the wings. I don't wanna overload this pan because it's gonna slow down the cooking time and it's gonna change the temperature of the oil. What you never wanna do is you never wanna put anything wet, frozen, or any kind of liquid in hot oil, okay? You can start a fire. So what we're gonna try and do with these wings is we're gonna try and take some of the moisture out of them and we're just gonna pat them dry a little bit with a, a regular old paper towel. We just wanna try and soak up some of this moisture so that we're not affecting our oil too much. So we're gonna add some more wings in here. You don't wanna overfill it. Got me looking like y'all know what I'm doing. <laughs> like we just did. Okay, so while we're waiting on our wings, we're gonna give them about another 10 minutes. We wanna make sure that they're all floating and that the bubbles have reduced. That's a good indication that whatever you're frying is done or it's almost done because the bubbles have reduced and now it's floating. In the meantime, we're gonna make our first sauce. We're gonna make a regular buffalo sauce. Now, for those of you that don't know how you make buffalo sauce, it is literally just hot sauce, whatever hot sauce you like, and butter, okay? Good old cheap squeeze bottle from the dollar store, okay? So what I did was I melted some butter. Now, how you make hot buffalo sauce all the way until mild, the more butter you add, the lighter the sauce is gonna be. We're gonna try and achieve just a regular buffalo sauce. We don't want it to be too mild. We don't want it to be medium. We still want it to have a little bit of a kick to it. So we're gonna add a little bit of our butter, okay? And we're just gonna play with it and see the color that we get, that's gonna let me know the flavor that I'm gonna come out with based off that color. The redder it is, the hotter it's gonna be. The oranger it is, if that's a phrase, the oranger it is, the less heat it's gonna have. So we're gonna shake it up, see what color we come up with. Tell me that I don't like buffalo sauce. It's cause it is. We're gonna toss the wings in the sauce once they're done and boom, we're gonna have buffalo. For our garlic parm, garlic parm are my favorite wings. So we're gonna make our garlic parm sauce. So the first thing we're gonna use for the garlic parm sauce, obviously, is a little bit of butter, okay? I would say about a quarter cup of butter for the garlic parm. Now, you can use powdered garlic or you can use fresh garlic. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna use some powdered garlic, okay? We're gonna do probably about a tablespoon, not even a tablespoon, a teaspoon. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of the garlic powder right into the butter, okay? We're gonna do about the same amount of parsley 
just because we wanted to have some color to it. Fresh parsley would be even better, but we ain't got fresh parsley today. So we're gonna work with the regular parsley. The next ingredient, obviously, garlic, parsley. If this stuff is from the dollar stuff. Don't be mad at me, I'm not, I'm not bowling yet, okay? I gotta use what I can use. Two tablespoons of the Parmesan. We're gonna whisk it up. Boom. Nice garlic parm sauce. Our next sauce that we're gonna do is gonna be lemon pepper. I love lemon pepper, it's mad good. We just have a basic lemon pepper seasoning. We're gonna do about two tablespoons of the lemon pepper seasoning. tablespoon of garlic okay, and then we're gonna do one half squeeze of a lemon make sure we catch those seeds nobody wants to eat seeds now we're gonna add a little bit of butter oh we got lemon pepper sauce for the wings so as you can see okay now all of the wings are floating to the top, okay? There's very little bubbles. This is a good indication that the wings are ready. Drip off some of that grease so you don't make a mess. Then lay them out so we can get some of this excess grease off. So go ahead and put them directly into the grease. I mean, into their sauce. Directly into the sauce and then toss it after that because the heat from the oil that it just got fried in is gonna help coat the sauce over the wings, okay? So we're gonna shake it around. Okay, we're gonna do a dip and flip back motion in order to toss the wings, okay? Dip, flip back. Making a mess. And this is the first time that I've used this recipe. So I gotta see if it's even any good. Let's see. It's good. Moving right along. All right, so now we got our garlic parm wings being tossed in our nice garlic parm sauce that we made earlier. Want to make sure we get it all in the bottom. Let's try one. See what we working with. Oh, it's hot. It's better than I expected. Not as crunchy as I want. But the flavor is definitely there. Oh, it's good. You want a problem? Okay, so. The next step, we're gonna flour up some of this chicken. I'm putting gloves on because I don't want my hands to get dirty. Touching raw chicken and flour. Okay, I just have regular all-purpose flour in this bag. The purpose for us putting the flour on this chicken is because this is our country sweet chicken. This is a thicker sauce and we want it to adhere to the chicken. If we just fry it and we don't put it in any kind of batter, it's gonna run right off. Right into the bag. I had to add another pan of oil because this is taking too long. <laughs> so we're just gonna shake this in the bag. Obviously, you guys know how to do this. Y'all know how to fry chicken at home. Only difference is this is not getting any seasoning. All the seasoning is gonna come from the sauce itself. So we're gonna tap the side of the bag to get that excess flour off because we do not want a whole bunch of flour. We're just gonna drop it right in the grease. All right, we're all done. Okay, so we got some more wings out that are cooked. They got a nice little crunch on them like I like, you hear that? Crunchy. So we're gonna toss these ones in our buffalo sauce that I just made. Try not to get it all over me white t-shirt. There we have very simple, they smell good too. Very simple buffalo wings. Mm. I got too much stuff. Mm. I got too much stuff. Mm. So now our last batch of wings for our country sweet wings are done. They're floating, the bubbles have reduced. Okay, and if you look at them, they got a nice crisp on them, okay? Got a nice coating on them. So we're gonna toss these right into the sauce. We ain't gonna drain them. Boom, country sweet wings. Okay, we are finally done with all these wings. Okay, so we have our country sweet. We got our lemon pepper, more country sweet. Lemon garlic, garlic parm, more garlic parm country sweet. We also made buffalo wings, but everybody ate those already, okay? So anytime you're looking for some wing ding knowledge, holla at your girl. Don't be afraid to hit me up, inbox me, Instagram, Facebook, like, share, subscribe, comment. And if you, if you don't like the wings, if they look crazy to you, tell me. What kind of wings do you like to eat? What kind of wings do you hate? This took longer than I expected, but it was fun. The wings turned out great. 
the people that I'm giving these wings to for being patient with me and looking out for me. I hope they enjoy them. All right, that concludes another tutorial with Chef Shay on how to do wings. Happy football season, even though I don't watch football. All right, like, subscribe, share. I'm out.